in the second round, we progress to women's singles and Ping Pong Yan of France up against the wild card entry, Sarah Walker of England. Well, a big, big day as far as Sarah Walker is concerned. That's what, a good chance. What a great opportunity it for is. her to experience the big stage. And of course, beaten finalist at the national championships, Sarah Walker, the 21 year old from Essex. But now living and training at the National Training Centre in Milton Keynes, home of Badminton, England. So the toss of the coin. Yes, and I wonder how many players will be choosing ends if they win the toss, because of course there is a drift. It's not as drastic as maybe in our day, Morton, but we won't <laughs> harp back to that. We felt it. <laughs> That's what we felt. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, Sarah Walker, 137 in the world ranking. And as you can see, her win-loss record for the year in the negative. And uh, But she did reach the quarter-final of the Czech International last year. She's been beset with injury problems. Uh, ankle injuries and fighting her way back to full fitness. And as we were saying, this is really a marvellous opportunity for her. Wild card entries are given to the host nation, of course, and Bantam England have filled those opportunities. But without doubt, this is the biggest day, biggest match of her sporting career. And she's up against a player who has the most remarkable record in World Championships. This is her sixth appearance at World Championships for Pi Hongyan, who was born in Chongqing, in Sichuan province in China, the 32-year-old. Actually moved to Denmark in 2000 and then started representing France in 2002. Five previous World Championships, at least a quarter final at every previous attempt, including, of course, a bronze medal at the World Championships in Hyderabad in India in 2009. But talking of injury problems, she too <laughs> has had injuries. She's, she's had plastered. A, <laughs> she is. She's like the walking <laughs> wounded. Knees, both knees bandaged, and really has struggled with knee injury problems. This, of course, the first meeting between these two players because uh, they've not been playing in the same, same sort of so, yeah. yeah, that's right. I mean, Sarah Walker has been playing international tournaments, not even necessarily Grand Prix events. And then the tier above that, of course, is uh, Super Series. Apart uh, from Thailand, from Karapat. Service judge. Ini. So all our match officials give up their time to come and officiate at these world championships. But Morton, of course, uh, Pi Hong Yan has been one of the top players in the world, runner up at the All England Championships back in 2007, where she beat a certain Jiang Ning in the semi-finals. Of course, she is the reigning Olympic champion, Jiang Ning, now coaching the women's singles players in China. 18 career titles for this lady now representing France. But I've been watching her recently. Of course, she did do well in Canada. She reached the final before losing out to Chen Chao Chia. That was the last tournament she played. But I haven't seen that she's really 100% recovered from her knee problems. And I think that because of the Olympic qualifying, she's perhaps started to play. If it wasn't for Olympic qualifying, I don't think she'd be back on the competition court quite yet. Yeah, she's, um, she's definitely uh, pushing her recovery, uh, trying to, to qualify for the Olympics and uh, giving herself the uh, last chance to, to do well. Right. But, you know, anyone would do it. Uh, I totally understand what she's doing. So, 
Yan. Former bronze medalist at these World Championships getting this first round encounter underway. That's nicely done. And Morton, you know, of so course, Laura, brought up in one, China, oh. Pi Hong Yan, came up through their system and then was able to leave and, first of all, come to, to Denmark. But, I, you know, I think that she was a player that I always regarded as such a wonderful mover around the court, super so balanced. So elegant. Yes. Yeah. But, of course, if you've got an injury and you're struggling with an injury and that detracts from your best part of your Excellent. game. It has yeah. a big impact, doesn't it? It has a, a massive impact on her game and, and obviously age. She can't run away from her age as well. 32, I'm not saying that's over the hill, but uh, we're getting there somehow. And yeah. uh, I, I think that the, the problem, uh, I, I totally agree with you. I think she's such a stylish player and I've admired so to watch her for, for many, many years. But somehow she, she just lacks that one killer shot, that one thing, that something a little bit extra that can make her win the tournament. Yeah. So it's Laurel G. Drew. And, and it, it might sound really uh, strange, but I, I actually think that Sarah Walker can, can give her a really, really good fight. She's just got to be very, very uh, consistent and very true to her. So her way of playing. I think it's a, it's a slow haul, and if it's a slow haul, Pi Hong Yang is not having so many winners. The, the chances just to run her, she's maybe not too uh, not fit enough. Take the the top off uh, Pi Hong Yang, and she's got a good chance. Absolutely, and we can see already Sarah Walker has got a big smash. I mean, she has got this weapon that Pi Hong Yang, in all honesty, yeah. is lacking. Yeah, she's drunk. There's no no doubt that Sarah is a strong girl. And she, she's um, she's a good runner. She's hard hitter. So the longer she can keep uh, this match going, I think the better her chances. Yes, and of course psychologically so she's got nothing to lose. She's not expected to win. Oh no, no pressure whatsoever. Exactly. Whatsoever. And pressure can do a funny old thing to players, can't it? Yeah, it saps the energy completely. Yep. in women's singles, Morton, very much about trying to outmaneuver your opponent, use all four corners of the court steadily, work your opponent and wait patiently for the right time to go for the winner. Whereas doubles, he's very much trying to force the your opponent into error. It's a far more patient game in singles. Yes, it, it definitely is. Uh, I, I think though that um, I haven't watched Sarah a lot. Well, I think she's already falling into the category of players. I, I would think that um, you know when she's playing, playing a, a shot to the baseline, there is a potential chance of your opponent to attack. Six, but she, I can see she's already a few times now been caught by surprise. Oh, is this was the one coming down? You know, when you lift and when you play a clear, potentially your opponent can attack it. So you've got to be ready and. She, I think already out of the uh, six points, I think three of them is on, on smashes where she got surprised that Pi Hong Yang was actually smashing it. So she's got to really, you know, wake up. I'm not saying that one, that's, that's yeah. just too short, that's, that's not it. But when she's playing a shot and she's playing to the baseline, she's got to be much more aware. And this I assume is the fact that she's playing a different level of player now i, I Definitely. suspect and, and they can do more things exactly they get behind the shuttle quicker then they've got the options good pressure lift so it's all on five seven and that was a good run of points from Li hong yan four straight points but brought to an end now Oh, 
Good nice. following. Good following. Good aggression. Yeah, that's very nicely done. Now she's got to watch out. Watch out. I'll watch out again. Yeah, Service oral at six. Did you see a lot of Pi Hong Yan when she first came to Europe and she stayed in Denmark? Was she at the Graver Club? Graver, yes, she was playing there. But um, Denmark has got very, very strong, tight immigration laws. And it, I think it would have taken her something like seven years to qualify for, for a Danish passport and, and thereby you know, being able to represent Denmark. No, and therefore she see. chose to, to move to another place. I, I think it's something like that. Yeah. That's understandable, and I mean, she's enjoyed some wonderful results in that interim period over the last decade. Oh. Served as long. She's very personality. Too. She's oh, yes. fluent in, in French and English and always ready to stop and have a chat. Yeah, she's a very nice player. It's good to have on the world circuit. Well, that perhaps a little sign of the nerves. She knows how desperately important it is for her to do well in these world championships. To get her ranking back up to something near it. It was before all the injury problems. Service so over. Ten. And. Yeah, that's a bad mistake. Not under pressure at all. I know it's so easy for us to say sitting here, but that's that's the kind of mistake you must not play. Yeah. Big difference with that one, Morton. Yeah. Her movement back in court. She really got behind it. She was behind it, yeah. yeah Maybe hard physical work, but that's the sort of thing you've got to do. That good, strong movement back in court. Got to put yourself into position. Yeah. Nice. Good job. So it's over. Yeah. 11, 9, So to the mid-game interval. Two-point advantage, and as you rightly said, it's a close encounter. Even though it should never be, it's uh, on paper and on world ranking and so on, it's, it's, it could be a lot closer. It could be. Yeah. Fabrice Avalé. Coach. Hard um, one to win the second. Hard one to Words, no doubt, for Sarah Walker. Started this match well. And I have to say, Morton, I always like to see a young athlete who, given an opportunity, takes that opportunity, takes really it. grasps it, not yeah. intimidated by the chance. She's really relishing the chance and producing, you know, some really good badminton. Yeah, but that's, I, you know, in, in all honesty, that's, that's one of the problems with our game, is the, the fact that it's, it's so difficult to make upsets. Um, in, in the uh, olden days, under the old scoring system, it was even worse. It was even more difficult to make those sets. Today, when the scoring system has changed, we see more of those. But, but still, you know, being 137 on the ranking, it's hard to make an, an impact on a world championship. And of course, it's hard to get into any of the elite level tournaments because it's all yeah, done on, on world on world rankings. All on rankings. Oh, 
Bad timing. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell by the, the, <laughs> yeah, noise, the, the, the noise, the shuttle? Yeah, exactly. You can hear it straight away. It was the right idea. It was good shot. Uh, good shot. Uh, very well selected. Just going wide, and and again, I think she's not under pressure to to an extent where she should make a mistake like that. So that's that's what she's got to cut down somehow. Yeah, that's a good return of serve, though. Wins the run of five points to an end. That's one of the keys in, in, in ladies the singles today, in women's singles today, is, is you've got to be a lot, lot more aggressive on, on your return of serve. And she was alert to the drop shot there as well, from Sarah Walker. Drifts <laughs> wide. specifically watching Pi Hong Yan's movement in that rally, Morton, and I think where she's really got the problem is her recovery once she's lunged forward to the net. She's just slightly hesitant, isn't yeah. she? She doesn't push exactly. back immediately. No, not the same way. She's, she's got to take her, her left foot a little bit more up under her. I don't know how to explain yes. it, to, to make that lunge a little bit shorter and then be able to get back a little bit quicker. So that's really She's sort of got to change some style on that. Yeah. Almost having to put in half an extra step. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And that takes time, of course, and therefore your recovery is slower. It's much more simple to show it on the court <laughs> <laughs> than to explain it in English here. <laughs> Very comfortable lead that the young Yan has got now. I'm sure she's she's quite happy with it. Oh, yeah. that's delightful. Yeah. But again, it's it's a very good chance that Sarah is taking. She's pushing that clear, that flat clear, attacking clear down to the forehand corner. If you see that shot passing your opponent, you know you can push in at the net because there's a lot of pressure in that forehand corner. If it's not passing, I would say 10 out of 10, that cross-court shot is coming. So she's got to be alert and say, OK, it did not pass. I have to cover that one. But she was miles 20, away from it. So nine game points now to Pi Hong Yan. Second time of asking, and the former bronze medalist of the World Championships, Pi Hong Yan. 21-12. 21-12, the opening game, it's confirmed by the umpire. It really was from the mid-game interval in that opening game, there was only two points in it. And then suddenly rushed through to that 21-12. As your French more? <laughs> non existent. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask you. <laughs> 
I can only say sorry I'm not speaking French. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think the England coaches here are advising Sarah Walker? What would you advise if you were down on court at the moment? Hmm. I would uh, make sure that you have a proper length. I would not entirely go for the sidelines as what she's doing. She's making too many um, mistakes on the sidelines. Just Second make sure you've got game. proper length. Maybe not Level push the pace play. so much. Just keep her on the court and possibly play a little bit higher, uh, clears and so on. Don't have to put so much pressure on. See again, don't go for the sideline. Yeah. Especially that sideline because uh, whilst everybody talks about the, the length drift, this playing is normally sideways. sideways. Exactly. And as we look down on the court, the shuttle is moving from right to left. Nothing going down, that's Pi Hong Yan forehand side is liable to drift out. Bad start. Too wide, same same side. Oh, yeah. Four, Address four. the shuttle early, did Pi Hong Yan. Yeah, lots of opportunities. You could almost do anything she wanted. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm looking at. I see Sarah slightly under pressure. She's choosing to play to the baseline. Fine, no trouble. But you've got to get ready for the next one. Yeah. So it's her, it's her recovery from the back of the court. She's not moving back to her base position in the centre Quick, of the quickly court. Enough. Quickly enough. So is and not only that, the to centre of gravity. Have, but she's got to stay lower. talk about badminton players moving low and hitting high so you move around the court like a cat about to pounce on its prey that's nice really well played good shot and i have to say with every match that pi hong yan is playing since her comeback i mean you've got to remember she didn't play a tournament in this year until the sudaman cup and when we saw her there she was really really struggling yes seven one and she is growing in confidence the whole time and it's I know what it's like to come back from an injury problem you oh, need yes. matches you need to regain that confidence as, as much as you play on the practice courts it's match situations where you have to have that inner belief yeah. I totally agree That's just not adjusting to it, is she? Third one. No. Nope. Well, hopefully, when she's watching it on on tape or CD or whatever you call it, DVD these days, um, you know, she would um, take Nine. notes. One. She will learn learn from it. Yeah. That's that's the whole thing. If you play the match and you're not learning from it, then uh, you're in trouble. Five, I think, five out of the ten points. Ten, yeah, now, one. this this really bothers me, actually, more than I think it's a trend with badminton players nowadays. I think we've now we've changed the rules. It's not only a different scoring. We have coaches involved at the mid-game interval. Uh, there's a lot more funding for badminton, which has been wonderful so in so many one. ways, but we have Two, far ten. more full-time coaching staff with all the different national teams and, and so on. In, in Badminton England, they even have somebody employed full-time to do video analysis of all the matches. And the thing that bothers me is that are the players 
taking notes. Taking note and thinking for themselves. Because here we are, you've identified, we both have, five times already in the first half of this second game, she's hit wide of that same line. With the drift. Yeah. Now, surely she should be thinking of that and correcting it herself before you get to the coaching break. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I, I, I must say I couldn't agree with you more. And having the coaches is also taking away the responsibility of thinking. So an eight-point advantage yeah. at the mid-game interval. Hard to see change. Yeah. I think Bi Hong Yang has, has grown in confidence in this match. Uh, she's set on them really well, playing the shots. And as you can see, she's not played one mistake on that sideline uh, where she's got the drift. And uh, she's playing very steady. Ali. Ali. Yeah. I know that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's always a good sign to me when coaches are very brief with their, with their instructions. They're obviously Five confident that their seconds. player is doing the Five right thing. And the longer the coach talks, the more concerned I am about the player's state of mind. Unless I, I think sometimes when I do coaching, I talk as well. But I, I stick to one, possibly two Seven, subjects, three, but trying to explain it in different ways. Got a nice deception on that uh, backhand shot so of the net, Sarah Walker. Four, she's done it on a few occasions and she's able to sort of delay it a bit. Here we see it. That's, that's the one, that's a nice one. See, that's what I mean. That, that's nice and simple. Just keep it in, proper length. Don't go for the sideline. <coughs> Run, run. Yeah. yeah. Totally out of maneuvers. Classic singles tactics there from Pi Hong Yan. Yeah, she was totally in control. That uh, was the case of doing it one too many times. Sarah chose a good shot, she played it, she executed it quite well, that cross-court drop shot. But when you play a shot like that, you have to follow your, your, your shot. You can't just hang in that corner and, you know, 9 out of 10, you have to run for that uh, cross-court uh, the drop shot, the, the straight one coming. And, you know, you've got to be ready. You can't play a drop shot cross and then not get to the next one. In your mind, you've got to be ready. You know that one is coming, you have to run for it and you have to put yourself in position to do it. Shot. Nice pressure. Yes, and I think this is something that really shows how much badminton is a tactical game, far more so than tennis, you know, because you have to think one or two shots in advance. It's just like playing chess. Yes. Very few have the power to, to play outright winners, and uh, you have to, to really... Uh, put some strategy into it and, and select the right shots at the right time and put so sort of, I normally say put people in the back and then tie it. Yeah.
you know, the more that I watch Sarah Walker, the more I sort of think she's got real potential. She's a good athlete, natural athlete. Actually, how I think she had a chance. Oh, superb! <laughs> and long last has found the line. But that's uh, now, now she's sending all the wrong signals in my book. I know it was wonderful rally, everything. No, she's got to stick with this. Okay, this is the way to do it. I'm stronger than my opponent. I will not show her that this was a tough rally. I'm ready. I can do this. This is all the wrong signals in my book. <laughs> Even though it was very well played. Yeah, I seem to remember a certain so Morton all Frost all in the final of the Old England against Richard Sibuyato. What was the yeah. length of that rally and the second game, was it? 97 shots? 97, and then the next one was 95. Yeah. That took for, forever to and play. did Ichuk Sibuyato ever get another point in the match? No, that no. was it. Yeah. We won 15, 10, 15 love. So and I yeah. seem to remember after that first long rally, you were eager to play on and he was wanting to towel down. Yes, I just, you know, even though I was feeling it just the same as him and it was really, really tough, you just stay there, you play the poker. You never show it. No. Yeah. But I think if, if Sarah would have been able to play rallies like that from the beginning of the match, she could have uh, really um, stayed with Pi Hong Yan and maybe uh, take the top away of the pace and then start playing with it. Yeah. And again, another mistake on the same side. Yeah. Uh, and we're, we're talking about a massive mistake. It's, it's way, way out. And a mistake on the opposite side. And gifts match points now to Pi Hong Yan. 12 of them to be precise. Oh, oh, three points, three unforced errors from Sarah Walker. That's disappointing because there were glimpses, most definitely, several very good rallies for the youngster from Essex. 21 12, 21 8, as confirmed by the umpire. Two straight games for King Kong Yang. Well, it will be a tough order for her to keep her remarkable record here in World Championships. Keep that going. Always reached at least a quarter-final in her five previous World Championships. Well, she's safely through to the second round, and she will be playing against the number eight seed, Bei Yongju of Korea.